Another toxic Christian principle is that of salvation by proxy. The idea that a person's sins are forgiven because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Here's just a few conceptual problems with this. Are we really to believe that an omnipotent, omniscient being is unable to come up with a better plan for our salvation than to sacrifice an innocent person in one of the cruelest and most humiliating ways imaginable? The concept itself is deplorable, and I find it disgusting that people revere this story as if it's anything but. Take a moment and ask yourself if you would sacrifice one of your own children for the sins of another. If you answered yes, I hope that you misunderstood the question. If you answered no, congratulations, you're more moral than the Christian God. The simple truth of the matter is that one person's sacrifice does not absolve another of their misdeeds. It's like the ancient practice of scapegoating, but with people instead. And how many of us still believe that piling our sins on a goat and sending it into the wilderness actually absolves us of those sins? The salvation concept seems to imply that ignorance is a punishable offense. What about the people that are unable to understand such a concept, like small children? Are they going to be doomed for something that is completely beyond their control or comprehension? The concept also implies that God is rather inefficient since the majority of people on the earth are not Christian and many of them have no knowledge of the religion at all. Was the God that created the cosmos unable to spread his message across the whole of this one comparatively tiny planet? What happens to people that do morally reprehensible things and are then saved? Many Christians love to argue about justice for misdeeds. They say things like, if hell doesn't exist, people like Hitler, who committed horrible crimes, simply die and are never punished. Well, yes, that's true. Sometimes death is the only consequence, and sometimes people aren't punished at all for their crimes. Life is, at times, unfair and unjust. How does it help to posit the existence of an all-powerful parental figure that would punish a generally good and moral atheist, but allow a genocidal maniac like Hitler salvation if he'll only offer repentance and obedience? The salvation principle plays on our inability to live up to the Christian God's impossible standards, and then offers us a loophole if we're only willing to be slaves to an idea. Punishing an innocent person for the sins of another is not justice, it's scapegoating. Hi, this is Rob Thompson. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with everyone and click on the Atheist A to subscribe and follow me on Facebook.